Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I'm a nurse practitioner. And today's video is going to be about sunscreen ingredients that are currently considered safe and effective, as well as the sunscreen ingredients you want to avoid. So in 2019, the FDA updated their sunscreen guidelines and it hadn't been updated in quite a few years. And so there were some significant changes that came out with this update. So in this 2019 update, the FDA proposed that there were only two ingredients that were considered safe and effective sunscreens. And the two ingredients that are considered safe are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So these mineral sunscreens sit on top of the skin as a barrier and they deflect the sun's rays. They do not absorb into the skin. So sunscreens are divided into two classifications. There are mineral or physical sunscreens, and then there are chemical sunscreens. So the most common chemical sunscreen ingredients are found in this list. There are other chemical ingredients as well that are less common, but you still have to be on the lookout for. because these chemical ingredients can penetrate within the skin and enter the bloodstream, and even after one use can be detected in the bloodstream for several weeks afterwards. And given the latest research on these chemical sunscreens, there is concern for endocrine disruption, so that means disrupting the hormones in the body. There has also been links to these chemicals in certain cancers. Some of these chemical ingredients can also be harmful to wildlife or the reefs in the ocean, and therefore they should be avoided. So there are many, many brands of sunscreens, both chemical and mineral, and I can't cover them all in this video, but I will go over a few examples to show you how to identify a good safe sunscreen. So now when you are purchasing sunscreen, you will most likely see mineral written right on the bottle so that it is easily identifiable, whereas the chemical sunscreens are still very abundant, and so those are the ones you have to look out for. Sometimes sunscreens that contain mineral sunscreens, such as zinc oxide, also contain chemical ingredients. So you have to be really careful and look at the ingredients. Any spray or aerosol sunscreens are also now advised against because there is that risk of inhaling those chemicals as well. So many sunscreens. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a few of these and go through them with you guys. Okay, this brand, Baby Ganix, looks good on front, but when you take a look at the ingredients, there is a chemical ingredient as well as two mineral ingredients. So this would be a no. Okay, this one made by Banana Boat, Baby Mineral. Usually when it says mineral on the bottle, that's a good sign. And yes, this one only has mineral active ingredients. So this one is a yes. Okay, this one made by Neutrogena has five chemical ingredients. So this one is an absolute no. This one is made by Coppertone. It says 100% mineral on the bottle. And when you take a look at the ingredients, it only has zinc oxide. So this one would be a yes. This brand Think Baby says it's a mineral based. And when you look at the ingredients, it only contains zinc oxide as the active ingredient. So this one is a yes. Okay, this is another one by Banana Boat. But when you look at the ingredients, it has four chemical ingredients and it's also in a spray bottle, and so you don't want to use this one on your kids. Another one by Neutrogena, multiple chemical ingredients, so this one is a no. Here's another one by Baby Ganix, it says mineral right on the bottle, and when you look at the ingredients, it has two active mineral ingredients, so this one's a yes. So this one by Sunbum has four chemical ingredients, so this one is a no. And then this one is their mineral version, and when you flip it over, it only has zinc oxide in it, so this one would be a yes. Badger is a very good brand. This is what I use on my son and myself. This sunscreen just has zinc oxide in it and it says it has 100% natural ingredients. So I really like to use the Badger sunscreen because it's a very clean sunscreen. This tangerine and vanilla smells like an orange creamsicle. It smells so good. So the sun is great in moderation. It helps our body make vitamin D. Just to get your daily dose of vitamin D, it is recommended that you get direct sun exposure for 20 to 30 minutes every day. But too much of ultraviolet radiation can be harmful to the body and put you at an increased risk of skin cancer. So the best defense against 
harmful ultraviolet radiation is to avoid peak hours of sun. So that's between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Avoid the sun by staying in the shade, to wear protective clothing when you are out in the sun for an extended period of time, such as a hat, long sleeves, pants, sunglasses, anything to protect your skin when you're exposed to the sun for an extended period of time. All right, you guys, so I hope this video was helpful to you and will help you the next time you go to buy sunscreen and you want to identify safe ingredients. If you like this video or you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get all my new videos. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.